Nazar and Timur are five-year-old twins. With their mum Olena, they paid a very heavy price for the fighting in Ukraine. I was at home with the kids. In the morning, I went into the kitchen and I saw a bomb coming towards my window. It was all so quick, I didn't realise what was happening. I just saw it flying towards me. Olena's house was completely destroyed. The family lived in the Luhansk region in the east of Ukraine when their home came under attack. I just fell to my knees, grabbed the kids and pulled them underneath me to protect them from the shrapnel flying into our faces. Olena and her two boys were so badly hurt, she recalls little of the impact of the bomb or the efforts to get them to safety. Just that a team of volunteers brought them across the country to Lviv, then a doctor who trained in Poland managed to get them to a specialist eye surgeon in Lublin. And this is where Professor Radak's skill and expertise was critical. Uh, I performed uh, bilateral cataract surgery. Uh, cataract was really, um, really complicated because of uh, wounds, because of a uh, piece of glass inside um, one eye. So um, uh, fortunately, the surgery went really perfectly. If Olena and her sons had not reached Professor Radak in time, the consequences would have been very serious. They would be blind uh, because it was the last moment to start the treatment. Uh, the, it took already seven days from the accident um, and um, uh, in ocular trauma, uh, really, uh, uh, time is uh, crucial. So you saved their vision? Yes. Miracle? A little bit. The boys are learning how to play again, but their lives will never be the same. Nazar has lost his eye, and it's not just the physical damage that they have to deal with. Now a psychologist is helping them, giving them tablets so they can sleep. They are feeling better and have had many operations. They saw the bomb fall on them. They are a little calmer, but they are jumpy and struggling to sleep. Olena, Nazo and Timur's sight have been saved. They are healing. The psychological damage, though, will take much, much longer. This is one family. We know of more who need this hospital's help. Kasia Madeira, BBC News, Lublin.